My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Hey everyone, we got a hot car for you today, a 1970 Barracuda. It's been flipped over, rotisserie restored, 446 pack under the hood. It's an awesome car. And if you visit volocars.com, that's where you get all the specs, pricing, pictures of it top to bottom. And there's also a few hundred collector cars that are all for sale at volocars.com. So make sure you visit that. But right now, why don't you join me for a spin in this exciting 1970 Barracuda. I mean, come on, this thing's exciting. The Cuda body style is really hot. You get lemon twist yellow, you get that stance, the shaker hood, the blackout treatment, the stripe, the spoiler. I mean, this thing's a hot, hot car. Comes with a uh, folder stuffed with receipts. There's tens of thousand dollars in receipts in here. So I said it's on a rotisserie. That's literally what it is. It flips the car on its side so they can do a real good job restoring the bottom of the car. It's all painted uh, gloss yellow, just like you see here. So it's all nice, clean metal. Everything looks new. The fuel system, the tank with the straps and the sending unit, uh, all new brakes, their disc in front, all new suspensions. It's got sway bars front and back. It's you know, new shocks, bushings. All of that is redone. You read the receipts, you don't realize what goes into restoring a car. There's a seven or eight hundred dollars from inline tube just for the fuel line, brake lines, cables, just that sort of stuff underneath the car. Stainless steel, you wouldn't think of that when you're thinking of what's going to cost you to restore a car. But there's a folder full of receipts. Uh, 15 inch torque thrust wheels with BF Goodrich tires, they look new. Uh, the elastomeric bumper, they call it. It's essentially, it's the rubber bumper, uh, color matched. These are correct fog lamps for a CUDA. It's got the shaker hood. It's a metal hood. Underneath that is a six pack. It's a new six pack setup, completely rebuilt 440 motor. I got all the specs and receipts for that. We'll start it up in a minute. Real clean engine bay. The VIN number is stamped on the core support on the cowl that matches the dash. Got a set of headers on there. It's got tinted glass. All this stainless trim has been polished. It's real nice. Doors shut real nice. The body's really straight. I didn't really talk about the body yet, but it's straight. It's clean. It's smooth. There's no bubbles and glossy. The interior is all redone. And it's done exceptionally well. We'll get back to that in a second. All beautiful metal, smooth, glossy yellow paint, detailed out like the latches and the taillight housings and wires and just the hardware. Trunk compartment looks like new. It's got a new weather strip. I say the interior is exceptional. It's legendary upholstery and seat cushions. New seat cushions give the upholstery a nice tight uh, appearance and they feel good. The side panels, the reproductions are like a flimsier plastic. These look like the original side panels, but they're mint. So the door panels, side panels, the plastics in excellent condition. New carpet. Back under the hood here, it's an all new power brake system. It's got power steering. It's got hooker headers. Uh, Mopar finned aluminum valve covers. All the components look new. The alternator, the horns, the washer bottle, the radiator, the Mopar hoses and clamps. Uh, everything on the firewall looks new. So a completely restored engine apartment. Back to the interior. The console is also mint. I almost think it's new. The headliner is new and there's not a wrinkle. It's got the shoulder belts, the dome light works, the visors, the mirror, all excellent. The rear speaker tray is excellent. It's got two six by nine speakers with an upgraded stereo uh, in there. It's a 323 SureGrip rear end. Uh, that's been rebuilt. This has the rally gauges, all restored, quartz movement in the clock. It's got about 30, 
700 miles since the car has been restored. The dash pad was sent out to just dashes and it looks brand new again. I think that's like 800 bucks. The wood grain steering wheel uh, is in excellent condition. So why don't I start it up? Yeah, new cushions just make it feel like a new car. Got a nice fat exhaust with stainless steel MagnaFlow mufflers that go right out through the valance with the rectangle tips. You don't really see it, but there is a six pack under there and they all look new, Holly carburetors. The thing runs nice. It's got the lever inside that opens and closes the fresh air to the carburetor. Doors shut beautifully. It's got sport mirrors, no vinyl top. Look at the pictures underneath the car. It's as nice as the top. Those carbs are dialed in and working just fine. You'll really feel them when you get out on the road and you open up all three carbs, you feel them. So visit volocars.com for your chance to get this exciting 1970 Barracuda. Plenty of ways on there to contact us. Uh, we can help with the whole process, answering questions about the car, the shipping, the financing. So just let us know how we can help. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. I really appreciate everyone who's been watching the videos. And as long as you're watching, we'll keep making them. Thank you.